In this video, I'm gonna make some aesthetic lo-fi reels. What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dreadlabs and I'm a visual artist, graphic designer and video editor. Black Friday is almost around the corner and I don't know about you, but I don't really go and fight people out in stores to get a TV. What I tend to buy during Black Friday is assets and anything for me to create digital art or create something cool. And it just so happens that aejuice.com reached out to me to showcase something very special for you guys. That being the I want it all bundle. This is a lifetime access to an insane amount of asset packs, video overlays, assets, anything that you need to create videos and animations for 98% off. And to put it on top, I'm just gonna say that right now, you're gonna get an additional 10% using the code DREAD10. The link for those will all be in the description. But rather than talking about it, I'm just gonna show you how to create a cool video using just some of the packs in this bundle. So without any further ado, let's get started. So one thing before we start off that I want to mention is that I am getting paid to showcase the AE juice packs over here. Of course, I want to be completely upfront about that, but I never accept any sponsorships for my videos unless I think it has an actual value to my viewers, which I think is the case with AE juice. I've sponsored them before and I think they have some very interesting and valuable products. So let's just get started right away. I'm going to bring up the AE juice pack manager, uh, which is a standalone piece of software that they've created. And basically you can just browse through all of the products that they have and drag and drop them into your video. So first off, let's go into After Effects and I'm gonna make a folder with my footage. And it just so happens a couple of weeks ago, I recorded some fairly interesting video footage. Um, that being footage with a really cheap camera and I thought it was very interesting to use uh, maybe for some in like content, which is a little bit more aesthetic pleasing at least in my opinion so i'm just gonna go and drop all of this footage in i'm gonna make a new composition i think what i'm gonna do now is just to create a real format but of course this is not a real format uh, but you can of course use any size that you want i'm just gonna do this because i've been meaning to use this anyway so so what we have here is i'm just rotate this around so this is a fairly lo-fi video of me just going and sitting behind my desk as you can see i'm out of frame apparently but let me just grab the part where i just go and sit down as you can see the color grading and the quality is kind of like eh. but since we're creating a lo-fi aesthetically pleasing video i figured this will be really in line with the AE juice specs that i'm going to drop in in a bit this is another piece of footage where i sit down but it's a horizontal one and as you can see, it's almost the same. So I figured it might be interesting to do like a smaller clip of me like this. Time it right, just like when I sit down. I think we have some of my plants in my office here. So let's see what this looks like if we rotate it the correct way. So what we have now is this. And now I think we could just cut around six second mark to another piece of footage. So from here on, let's see what else we have. So let's drop this one in. Yeah, why not walk over with the camera? And I think what would be cool is if we find something else that we can rotate as well, but then like bigger. So in the background, so we'll put this to minus 90 and then scale this up. And now what we have is basically a very simple video of 10 seconds, but... So it's fairly straightforward, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to select this and, and then click on pre-compose and we'll just call this clips. So let's bring up the AE Juice Specs Manager. And like I said, you can just scroll through or search for any specific transitions or whatever it is that you need. I already picked out a couple of things that I wanna play around with. And the first one is the light leaks, which I think will be interesting to put over um, the individual clips. Then we have some film textures, some film artifacts even. I think this could be really dope as well just because we can play with blend modes and it's just fairly like lo-fi, I guess. And maybe we can just do some color grading. Um, that being said, I'm not really sure if 
like this will work for this. I guess we need to try it out, but let's uh, start with that actually. We'll do some cold colors, um, maybe like this one. So we can just click on the download and it will start downloading as you can see. And on my other screen, you can actually see here, it downloaded the file for me, which we basically means that we can just now use it. So now we can just type in the effects and presets, apply color LUT, and I'm just gonna do this directly to all of the clips so we don't have to do it individually. And we can drag this on, and now I need to find the location where it's been copied, but I'll just copy the location here that opened from the AE Juice Packs Manager, and I'll click enter. And we can just use this file, and as you can see, it immediately applied already. And I like it actually because it has that contrast that you usually have in film. So this is uh, with and without, this is with, and this is without. So I actually like this very much. Maybe I'll just make the footage a little bit brighter with a curves adjustment, just before we apply the LUT. So kind of like this. Now we have the individual clips. And what I want to do is just like, play around with some of the film artifacts because I think those are the most interesting ones. Uh, we can just drop in there. I think this one like works really well. So let's download this 56 one. And on the side of my screen, uh, it's just off screen, but it will just open a folder in your Explorer every time. We can just drag and drop this in. And as you can see, it's a 4K, if I'm not mistaken, video footage. I kind of want to apply this to like the bottom one here. So I'm just gonna drag that over here. And I think let's let's just scale it to the point where it's like the same size as the film footage. So we'll just scale it down a little bit so it's covering the screen. Next, I wanna right click, go to time, enable time remapping, alt or option, hold uh, that on your keyboard and click on the like stopwatch icon that just formed there and then type in loop out. And that way we can just loop our footage all the way till the end of the clip. So as you can see, well, the rest of the footage will stay in there, but I wanna play around with the blend modes actually, see what, what we can do there. And I think if we just press shift and plus and minus, that way we can cycle through the blend modes, as you can see. Maybe the soft light one, let's, uh, let's just hide these for now and then just loop this so we can actually see it a little bit better. This is pretty cool. Ooh, I like the difference one as well. All right. So what else do we got here? Kind of like this one as well. Let's download this one. We can just drop this in as well. And then let's cover this. We'll just copy this time remap thing. And it should also be like looping now. And let's put that over the second part of the footage. The one that comes in here. Another way we can just use the artifacts here to clip it to the footage that we actually want to clip it on. What we can do is click on the no math here. And if you cannot see this, you can just right click on the top bar here, go to columns. So you right click columns modes and click on the no math and then click on the footage below, which is for me the lo-fi reel. And this will start hiding the lo-fi reel. But if we just unhide it here with the I button and we'll just cycle through the overlays, you can see that it's only visible wherever that piece of footage is visible. As you can see right here. I actually like the overlay. Let's see what the overlay looks like with this one. It's pretty cool actually. All right, let's do this one more time. So let's cycle through. I like these like very dusty, dusty things. Maybe we can do like one, like the written things look cool as well. Maybe a more subtle one like this one. And then we can do like one of the text ones as well. So we got one and we got seven. So let's drop these in our footage as well. We'll copy the time remap and paste those so we can just loop them however long we want. And then the number seven, we're just gonna play that after this beginning sequence. And this one we will be playing on top here. I'm gonna turn this to screen actually, I think, and then just put it to the footage below, just the same way that we did before. And then I'm just gonna scale it so it only covers that video with and without. It's a little bit difficult to see. Maybe let's see what this does with overlay as well, but I think it's a little bit too hectic. Yeah, it makes it a little bit too dark with the contrast. 
And then finally, the last part where we have the other film overlays, which is like the one with the letters. And I think if we put this to overlay, this makes it really dark. So maybe we'll do like a screen. And then we'll put this all the way to the bottom of the footage to the part where I like drag out around this kind of stuff, like the books and everything. I think this is it, right? If we go back, because our clip's like 10 seconds long. So let's see what this looks like with all of the film overlays now. I think I wanna lower the opacity of the first texture just a little bit to make it more subtle. But other than that, I actually like it. As you've seen the one where I'm dragging away like the tripod, it doesn't really have any texture over it yet, but I'm gonna change it in a second because we're gonna use another pack for it. But for now, let's see which one is, I think this is the, the very extreme one, yeah. Let's just press the letter T on our keyboard and lower the opacity to 25%. Yeah, that's a lot better, maybe like a little more 40. All right, so the final part of the footage that doesn't have any texture yet is this one. I'm just gonna color these so it's a little bit easier to determine all of them. And let's bring up the AE pack manager again. And ooh, we got some film grains in here as well. Wait, so we got still frames and we got texture. So let's go with one of these grains. I think the greenish one will work really nice. Let's download that one. And we'll just put it right on top of the other yellow bar, which is over here. And again, I'm gonna show you the trick one more time if it wasn't clear to you before in the video. All we need to do is go to click on no map. And then we'll click on the footage below. So for us, that's Lo-Fi Reel 6. And as you can see now, only, it's only visible with that specific clip where I'm dragging away the tripod, but that's obviously like invisible now. So if we change the demo to overlay, as you can see, it's invisible. So all we need to do is click on the little I button here in the left, and as you can see, it's now there. And if we wanna loop it, all we need to do is go to right click time, Click on Enable Time Remapping, hold Alder Option, and click on the stopwatch. Type in Loop Out with parentheses, click on Enter, and now we can extend it for however long we want, as you can see right there. That's pretty much it. This is with and this is without, so I really think that green adds into the rest of the clip. And I was also thinking of like doing some light leaks, but I think this is just a little bit too aesthetically pleasing in comparison to the rest of like the lo-fi footage, but I am willing to try it out, see if this is just overkill or not. I think it's already like nearing overkill, but I, I love this aesthetic. So um, yeah, I just wanna see what's possible. So let's just go and put this to add, or maybe like lighten. So I think it's pretty cool to do this, but what we need to do is just loop this as well. So again, let's just right click, time, enable time remapping, hold all our option, click on the stopwatch, type in loop out parentheses, and now we can just extend it. And what, what I want to do actually is put this just to the point of the like lower, the, like the fully, covering uh, parts of the footage being affected and not like the smaller clips. So I think this is the way to do that. So as you can see now, the color leak is like on the back footage, but not on the front footage. And here it's the same. And I think maybe we wanna also like lower the uh, frame rate of that, but let's see for now. All I like kind of wanna do now still is put this to like 120% and then just slowly zoom out to 100%. So yeah, this is what we end up with. I'm actually fairly happy with this and this was made in, let me just check how long I've been recording now, under 20 minutes. So the full recording is 20 minutes, but when I started doing this, I was under 20 minutes. Yeah, I reckon this is a fairly fast and easy way to just get these like aesthetic like reels or videos or whatever you wanna create out there in the world. So like I said, all of the stuff that you've seen in this video was from aejuice.com. If you wanna get these packs with a huge discount, there is a link in the description down below and you can use my code DREAD10. It's already pasted in the link so you don't have to do it yourself. Just click on the link and you can get the packs for yourself and start creating some sick video stuff. And one more question, if you are going to do something with Black Friday and you're a designer or creator of any kind, what kind of Black Friday sales should we check out? Let me know in the comments down below. And with all of that being said, this is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you guys in the next video.